Hello, my friends. This is Dr. Renee Tucker. So I just want to tell you real quick about why chiropractic sometimes doesn't work. Okay, now, um, I am certified in chiropractic, and after vet school, I went there. And believe it or not, graduated from chiropractic uh, animal certification in 1998. So it's been a while. So I know how to do it. Okay, but what's important here is that sometimes I ask people, well, have you ever gone to a chiropractor? And they get this look on their face, kind of like they know I know about chiropractic. And they went, but they hated it. So they don't want to tell me. I can tell <laughs> by their faces. They're like, oh, what do I say? So, listen, I totally get that. And here's the thing that I wish chiropractors would tell you. And it's this. Okay, there is over a hundred different the entire techniques of chiropractic. A hundred, over a hundred, okay? So then every human chiropractic school, you know, that's a four-year school, and uh, they only teach about yeah, 20, 25 of them in that, in that school. Okay, so then students go through and they got 20 to 25 whole techniques that they know how to do, but they'll choose what works really good for them. And you have to. You can't do everything. So people choose depending on their weight, their hand size, height, all that kind of things, and what equipment they want to use, all that stuff. So a lot of chiropractors have, um, at least for people, have a handful of really s developed skill in chiropractic. But they don't tell you that. They tell you they're doing chiropractic. And they are. But if it hurt, that's not right. And if you're sore for weeks, that's not right. If I uh, didn't help you at all, that's also not right. And unfortunately, I, I don't know why this is, but a lot of chiropractors will say, well, I just need you to come back, you know, three times a week for three years and then continuously on and on until your problem is solved. But the thing is, and this is what I wish they would mention, is that they should just tell you, look, I do. X, Y, and Z techniques. We'll try it a few times. If your body doesn't like it, hey, my friend down the street does a whole bunch of different chiropractic techniques. That might work better for you. That would be really nice because what happens is people come out of chiropractor's office and if it's not working for you, you think all chiropractic is just going to be bad. And it's really not. There's so many different techniques because there's so many different ways people's bodies respond. So if you do have a chiropractor and it's not working either for you or for your horse, I do recommend maybe trying another one. But please make sure they're certified so they do know what they're doing. Um, and that would be super helpful. Now, I don't do regular chiropractic anymore. I have uh, go ahead and morphed into doing energy work because I find it works more effectively and for every horse. And it finds that primary cause, like I mentioned a lot. But one thing you can do if you have a chiropractor or a massage person or whatever therapist you have, is I do have the Where Does My Horse Hurt book. You might have heard of it. Um, it's online. It's for sale everywhere. Uh, Barnes & Noble, Amazon, uh, Horse and Rider Books. All those guys have it. Anyways, it's just I have 27 checkups for the horse. I call them checkups because you check every joint in the horse's body. I'll show you how to do it. Nice pictures. Uh, step by step, very straightforward and as easy as possible. And then here's the thing, okay? If you know, let's just say you know the sacroiliac checkup and your horse maybe has a an, an sacroiliac problem, then you can do the sacroiliac, sacroiliac checkup and you're like, oh, I, I don't feel any movement here. I'm not sure if I'm doing it right or wrong, but that's what I got right now. Then you call over Joe the chiropractor who says, oh yes, definitely you've got a chiropractic problem. Let me fix that for you. And then they fix your horse's sacroiliac joint and you do the checkup later on. You're like, oh wow, look, it is moving. I get it now. Before it was stuck and, and stiff and now I can feel it moving. And that is such a powerful thing to have for yourself. So you know, whatever therapy you, you choose to have done for your horse, if it's working or not based on whether or not the checkups change. Okay, and in that same manner, 
Um, you can check the atlas, the shoulders. Uh, we have uh, things for every every joint. You can even do this before and after joint injections. You know, if your joint injections are supposed to loosen up the joint, you should be able to feel it. And also, how long does it last? When when does your horse need new joint injections, if they do at all? Uh, then you can feel them with your hands, with your horse just standing there. Uh, usually before, you can feel it when you're riding. Anyway, that's just a suggestion. You can take a look at that. I think that's it. But please send me any of your questions you have for this podcast, and I'll hopefully get to them pretty soon. Okay, thanks for listening. Bye-bye.